Do I, do I use this mic as well as this? Yeah. Oh, hello. Um, wow, I have presentation mode. Uh, this is very unusual for me, hang on. Uh, if I just click play, this works. Okay. Um, hi everyone, okay, so I'm Sean. I, uh, and thanks so much, Wei, for that uh, awesome intro. And I'm, I'm super impressed. This is my first time at Shopee. Um, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, this is my first time actually speaking uh, at a React event in Singapore, even though I'm Singaporean. Um, I, live, I live in New York, um, and I do a lot of uh, stuff. I'm pretty active in the React scene over there. Uh, and I'm, it's, very, it's very encouraging for me to see local tech companies, um, employees staying after work, <laughs> to like, talk about tech. Um, it's like you have nothing better to do. Uh, but don't worry, neither do I. So um, I want to make this. I want. I this is more. This is my first ever uh, soft skills talk, like non-technical talk. Uh, it's it consists of advice that um, has helped me a lot in my career. Um, I think that uh, it's it's really beneficial to me. I don't think it applies to everybody. There's some people for which this will not be good advice. Uh, but I think for for people who might, who who need to hear it, um, I want to be there and available for you um, as someone who's been on that same journey. Um, and so, so, yeah, I'm just going to introduce myself a little bit. Um, I go by Swix on Twitter. Um, I work at Netlify as a developer experience engineer focusing on uh, React in general. Um, I um, also am a moderator on the r slash ReactJS subreddit. There's 120,000 of us um, talking and sharing and writing about React. Um, and I'll tell you the story about how I got to be a moderator. That's part of this journey. Um, and, and, and the last thing I do is, is learn in public, which is uh, a little bit of like a hashtag movement, whatever you call it. It's just uh, some piece of advice that I decided to write down one day, and then it went viral. Um, and, and, now, and now I'm here. <laughs> so, so, uh, so thanks very much for, for uh, inviting me. Um, there are two pieces of, there are two like groups of topics that I wanted to discuss. Um, and this is very much a work in progress. So <clears throat> uh, it's very open to interpretation. Um, but <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm trying to give you a tri high level opinion, uh, high, high level overview, and then um, also give time for questions because I think that there, there, there are some people with, uh, who've already read some of this um, and want to have questions. Um, so actually, uh, the, the, first, the first part uh, is, is the seven opinions piece. So basically what this was, was um, I graduated from boot camp. I'm not, I'm not, a, CS, uh, I'm not a CS grad. I only uh, changed careers about two years ago. Um, a lot of people don't, don't even know that from, from, from looking at me. Uh, that's a little bit of the secret. But, uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, but I, wrote this, I wrote this series of essays as uh, sort of like, a, uh, like going back and giving advice to, to former students for people who are also trying to uh, advance their careers in, in tech. Um, and I originally started with seven. I have some ideas for seven, but I only wrote four. So um, if you're interested in like, the question marks, um, <laughs> uh, you, can ex you can approach me later and I'll, I'll, I'll spitball. I, I, don't think I, I don't think I have them uh, finalized yet. But I wrote, that, I wrote these things about a year ago. Uh, and, the, and the key one is learn in public. Um, and then the second one is a follow-up that I wrote uh, like a couple months ago, um, which is a, a lot of people, like, um, a lot of people when, they, when they're convinced about that they should learn in public, um, the, the next question is how do I start? Um, and so this, was, this, goes, this essay goes into a little bit about that. Um, but that's the rough structure of what we're gonna do. Okay, so the sales pitch for learn in public. Um, basically, it, it, sums up, it, it can be summed up in the concept that you, you have a choice of either uh, learning in private or learning in public. By default, most of us learn in private. That everything that we, that we consume, we just kind of passively absorb it and then try to practice it in the future. Uh, we don't really create learning exhaust, um, and that's something that uh, I picked up from Brad Frost. He's um, a s author of, of like CSS. He created the, con the, the concept of, uh, um, I guess, the, the design system uh, layers and, and all that. I, I forget what the name of it is. Um, but create learning exhaust. Um, I, I have one question in, in the pre-Q&A um, about like, how it, it's so hard. Like you're, you're doing a day job. You're doing like, maybe some open source or self-learning. Um, it's hard to write extra blog posts uh, on top of it. I fully agree. Um, the benefit is um, you don't have to write for anyone but yourself. Um, write for past you and then keep that, keep that as a daily log. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you, just like notes. Um, and more often than not, you actually, you actually find that the, the main ben beneficiary is future you. So uh, if, if you need to suddenly look back on something that you did six months ago, you have the log of that. Um, but 
it's from there, you, if you establish that daily habit, it's actually not too far to, to then polish that up into a slightly nicer blog post for other people to, to, to look up. Um, and mainly the, the, the thing that you're going for is documenting what you did and the problems you solved. Um, and after a while, like when you, when, you, when you start feeling that you're comfortable doing this, um, you, you, should, uh, you should then start publishing uh, for the purposes of um, consumption by other people, right? Blogging on, on like free code cam, CSS tricks, whatever. Um, and a lot of people stop themselves or don't ship because they want it to be perfect. They want, they want to like sit on it, like make sure they, they like research every last thing. I do that. Um, I don't even, like, just to be clear, I don't even follow my own advice most of the time. Like, I just, this is, like, this is me at my best. Um, so uh, the, the, the point is, like, just do your best, do your due diligence, and then, like, let yourself be wrong. Like, if you're wrong on the internet, there's one thing you can count on the internet is they will come and correct you. This is called Cunningham's Law. And I know it's called Cunningham's Law. Why? Because once on a podcast, I called it Godwin's Law, and guess what? Someone came and corrected me and told me it's Cunningham's Law. So, so it literally is just how the internet works. And once you've been publicly wrong, you will never forget it, right? Like, it's just impos physically impossible for you to, to forget it. Let me show you some of the things I, I've done um, just to make it real for you. Like, this is not theory. This is actually what I've done. So um, a lot of people in the room are React developers. Um, a lot of people, uh, people in the room have seen the introduction of React Suspense. Yeah, concurrent React. Um, so that was the Danny Moore thing. It started in March of last year. Um, and basically what I did um, around about then, again, like I was a nobody. Um, the first thing that I did when, when that, when that when, uh, so that happened, oh, you cannot see my screen. Shit. Um, hang on. Displays. I'm just going to mirror. Yeah, um, Arrangement, yeah. OK. Thank you. Um, better? OK, cool. So this is my Dev2 account. Uh, Dev2 is uh, Medium for developers. Uh, don't use Medium, use Dev2. Uh, just a pro, pro tip. Um, and uh, so wh what happened? So March 1st was that introduction of React Suspense. March 2nd, I had gone through that entire talk multiple times. I looked for the source code, I cloned it, I worked through the entire source code, and then I wrote this piece up. So this was the first thing that actually, and this is like less than a year and a bit ago. <coughs> and it was the first thing that actually explained in detail every single, um, there was a lot of blah, 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 right? Don't, uh, that's not necessary. But it, it explain it in, in, in detail um, and walking through the code, everything that Danny Romoff presented. So this is really just like me making notes for myself, right? But I also took care, took care to write it up in, in a consumable way. Um, and that got me uh, noticed by Danny Bermoff. Like it's, it's a mathematic, like it's not that hard, right? Like to, 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 like if you're learning in public about the things that someone else is presenting, um, uh, first of all, they, they want to correct you because that's how the internet works. Um, if you if you got anything wrong, but second of all, if you explained it in a different way, in a beginner's mind's way, you have something that the the experts do not, do not have. You can talk to your previous self, who is someone that didn't know this topic before. So you can explain it in, in new terms, and uh, if if that's if that helps, that that actually helps them because they're not they're already experts and they don't have time to like write all these super long explanations and so, all that. So 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 obviously he like you know starts sharing it for me and like I can start building um, some expertise in React suspense. Uh, which I have, by the way, zero expertise because at the time I was, I was only in my second month in my uh, React job. Um, so then I started um, creating this timeline of events. So I, I started like creating community resources, right? I was like, all right, let's, 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 let's like check in all the, this is a GitHub repo. <coughs> let's, let's like log to put, put like create one central place to log all the, uh, the massive amount of information coming out about this new API that's, that's, that's in React. So here's all, the, here's all the public team communication. Here's uh, community code from, from either the, the official, uh, official demos from, from people or um, stuff that other, people, um, other React developers have, 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 uh, have collected together. Like, I'm not doing anything technical here. I'm just being a, a repo guy. Like, you know, you can, in, in, um, in another world, this would be like, you know, one of the Sindri stories, like awesome-react or awesome whatever, right? Um, I just don't like awesome because uh, a lot of things are no longer awesome after a while, right? Um, and people don't, don't have a process for removing that. Uh, so so um, I call it fresh uh, because like, I want to keep it fresh. I want to keep a timeline because this thing is uh, quickly evolving. Um, 
I also uh, split things up in, for people into uh, information about concurrent React, React Suspense, um, time slicing, streaming SSR, basically uh, DevTools Profiler, which was actually has nothing to do with concurrent React, but it's, it's, it was also a new thing at the time. Um, so so I, I then started collecting all that info, as well as some history from like 2017 all the way to 2014 when uh, concurrent React was first um, introduced or first mentioned about, which is, by the way, like anybody doing research on React Suspense and concurrent React um, will eventually find this repo uh, because it like now has all the all the links right so it's like the the number one research uh, resource um, and, and then and then eventually I was like okay I have all this info it's in unstructured format um, let's actually make it structured and 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 so now we have what what it is today which is uh, essentially docs for uh, the first version of docs anywhere for react suspense um, so I have I have um, you know this is how to use it this is the uh, this is the API um, and, and, and I have all the, I have all the you know, uh, the, the undocumented, like, you know, uh, this is like borderline not cool with the React team because they don't want people to <laughs> actually start using it. Uh, but this is good for enthusiasts and, and people doing demos um, to understand um, what is the, what the, what's the current state of things. So I at least provide a view of the historical state of things, allow you to create a timeline, but then also have a snapshot of the current state of things. Um, I think that's very cool. Um, so, so that was essentially my learn in public thing for uh, for uh, early early last year. I also did um, I think like a hundred days of uh, CSS stuff, and that was that was really cool. Um, more recently, uh, my 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 most successful thing so far has been the React TypeScript cheat sheet. Um, I know that multiple devs at I don't know Airbnb, Uber, I, I, like I can't I can't even keep track of like not. Um, these guys have learned TypeScript from me because, <laughs> because I just wrote down uh, my own learnings as I, um, as I try to adopt TypeScript within React. Um, these are just docs that did not exist, so I just started writing, creating these reusable resources. Um, and, then, and then it just grows and grows and grows because um, obviously um, as, people, as people need, um, all, you know, and, 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 and being, me being, me being um, an experienced JS developer going into TypeScript, um, I wanted things like, okay, I have a problem, how do I troubleshoot? So I just made a troubleshooting handbook. This is not the kind of things that you have to ask permission for. Like, just make it. No, no, one, no, one's, like, no one's saying you can't do that. Like, uh, it doesn't exist in the official TS docs, therefore, like, you're in a tough luck. Um, uh, no, like, you know, uh, I, think, I, think that, I think that people should create their own resources and, and make that useful for other people. Um, and therefore, people will start contributing. Like, a lot of these are not even made by me. Um, they're contributed by the community. Um, and, and therefore, I have people teaching me. Um, and, and for example, like, the entire TypeScript team has, a uh, core team has reviewed this. Um, and you cannot pay for this. That's, that's one of, the, that's one of the, the key facts about this, uh, about learning public. You get the, the, the kind of mentorship and advice and review that you cannot pay for. Um, let me give you one more example on the reactjs.org uh, site. So I, I, I contributed exactly once to React. Um, and, and that was to pick up one of these issues. Uh, if you know, there's like a good first issue tag on GitHub. Um, so uh, contributing docs. So I contributed it, they merged in a PR, I got the nice fancy contributor tag, and then I never contributed ever again. Because <laughs> uh, that process sucked. But what I did was I double dipped on my experience. I, was, I, was, I, have, I, I now have this experience that 99% of React developers have never had. Um, how do I like, share that? So I made that into a talk, um, and it is now the uh, uh, introductory video. Um, so this is, this is me. Um, from the React docs. Um, so uh, it's it's like it, it's nothing major. Like I want to emphasize, like um, I know I know this is very newbie beginner stuff, um, but like being able to tell that story and being able to like make the most out of your experience, um, uh, like helps to start you off on that learning public journey, and <coughs> and then people are incentivized. Like you're you're. It's like. Um, when you want when you want help from some people, right? I think it should be a equal value. Like you, they should be getting something from you, and you should be getting something value from them. Um, it's very difficult if it's just a one way street. Um, and but even 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 as someone as like relatively more beginner, you ha you still have something to offer in a, in your in your like energy, your ability to share, your ability to like pull in others. Um, because uh, by by like by the time that they reach, for example, like the React core team. Um, 
no one ever believes they're human anymore. Like, they're like, oh, just come and join that, and, it, and no one believes them. But if you are you know, a recent beginner and you say that you did it, um, that's more convincing to other people. Okay, so, um, and that's, and like a lot, like just a history of, uh, of community contribu contributions got me uh, invested. I was also on Reddit for quite a while, and that's, that's how I eventually got the job of um, uh, the React mo uh, moderator on Reddit. Um, okay, so I'm not here to Haolian, right? Like, I'm just like, I want you to know that like, this is me. Oh, I'm also not alone. This is Chris Coyer. Anyone know Chris Coyer? Yeah? Uh, CSS Tricks guy. He attributes his success is to showing up persistence and just working in public. Um, so here, um, this, uh, where's the other? Sorry, I, I think I clicked the wrong link. So Chris, Chris Coyer has this thing about working in public. Like basically, I looked at successful devs in our industry and like the few times that they've talked about like what made them like successful, um, it's all the same shit. It's just do stuff in public and, and then like just get good. Over like over many many years, um, this is this is Chris Coyer and and how and how um, he started CSS Tricks because no one else did. He wasn't like the world's leading authority on CSS Tricks, but 20 years later, he, here he is. Like and he is the world's leading authority on CSS Tricks just because he's been doing it so long. Um, it's it's not it's not something that you you like earn on day one. It's not something you're, you're ever qualified for, but you you earn it by um, just showing up repeatedly and, and learning in public. This is Ken C. Dodds. He calls it intentional career building. He has a he has a uh, he has a talk as well about how um, he uh, he's only he like got into the Angular core team like three years out of university, um, and then and then now is like a leading React uh, instructor. Um, and he calls communicating double dipping. I already told you about how I double dip, um, create value. Um, so again, this is this is more sort of advanced. Like once you're you have the the habit of creating uh, learning exhaust. Um, only in content like he does, yeah. Um, so everyone has everyone has uh, has little pieces of advice. This is uh, Patrick McKenzie. Um, those of you on Hacker News will, will will be familiar with that name. He he's uh, one of these like Lao Tiao like give advice on the internet guys. Um, and he's and his his advice is don't end the week with nothing. Like you you spend most of your week working for Shopee. Um, what at the end of the week is is part of you. Like what what leaves with you uh, if one day. Uh, God forbid you should ever leave Shopee. Um, you, should, you should also be thinking about your own career and your own uh, development as well. Um, what else? Corey House, I really respect this guy. Um, becoming an outlier. Again, these are all like very different perspectives on career success, uh, personal success and growth as a developer. This is Jeff Atwood. Um, he, he's, he's, more, uh, he's a co-founder of Stack Overflow, and he's more direct. Uh, just stop sucking and be awesome. And the, and the how-to is, is embrace the suck, because it's going to suck when you're wrong in public. Um, you do whatever you do in public, and then you pick stuff that matters. So picking that is a little bit of like investing and like try, making bets. You do have to make bets, um, and you will be wrong on some of them. But overall, uh, it should be pretty easy, and that's, that's one of the arguments that I have in my essay. OK, uh, blah, 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 right? I have more, uh, I have more, uh, so that was the first of, set of uh, what should be seven essays in the Learning Public series, um, but I don't have time to present everything. I also want to present a little bit about learning gears, um, how to start learning in, pu uh, learning in public for, for people who, who haven't really uh, begun. Uh, basically, I have a theory that there are three gears, like gears of learning, kind of like bicycle gears, like gear one is like very powerful but very slow, gear three is most powerful, uh, Fastest but least powerful. So you, if you need to climb up a, a steep slope, uh, you're gonna want to drop to gear one. Um, so, so the the first gear is explorer gear. So um, I don't have slides prepared for this, but so so this is and, and all this is on my site. But um, this this is actually the idea of learning gears. So uh, the first gear is the explorer gear. Um, the main problem is that you don't know what you don't know. Um, the creative exhaust that you write is mainly notes to self. Let me show you my notes to self. Actually, they they suck, um, but. Again, I've been doing this every day, more or less, since 2017. Um, and some of them have like random notes like, like this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know. It's, this was some, I, I was working for the Gatsby team at the time. Um, and then we had some meeting, and I just took some notes. Again, this means nothing to, to people who are not me, right? Um, but it, it will be relevant at some point uh, to, to people. I have Vim tips for myself. What, what is Vim tips? Uh, yeah, things I like about Vim. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, again, so, so again, like, no effort, right? Like, uh, people, I think someone was asking me, uh, was asking in the Q&A, like, it takes so much effort to, to write blogs. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Um, you're just writing it for yourself. Uh, so that's the Explorer gear. Um, let, me, let me go back to my, my essay about that. Uh, um, so no, mostly notes for self. <coughs> if you want to uh, level up a little bit, uh, put it in tweets, uh, put it on Stack Overflow questions. Uh, you know, you can ask, ask and answer your own questions or answer someone, answer someone else's. That time commitment, just make that very low, but just make sure you keep showing up and make it a habit. Um, you're, uh, no one expects anything from you when you're, when you're in Explorer mode. There's no unifying theme. You're not the X person or X whatever. Uh, you're just like, this is currently what you're working on. The public commitment level is low, right? So um, you're, not, you're, not, you've, you've, you're, you're usually operating in one day sprints of like, what do I feel like doing today? Um, so that's the Explorer gear. The connector gear is like kind of like the next level up. Um, the connector gear is, um, is the, the, the problem here is that you know, many th you, you know things that others don't know, and you're, now you're connecting them to your knowledge or, or different fields uh, with each other uh, that don't usually talk, uh, which, I, which I do a lot, for example, with React and TypeScript or GraphQL and, and React and that kind of thing. Um, <coughs> Over, over in the connector gear, the creative exhaust that you make is explicitly meant for others to read. Um, so here you're actually putting some polish into your work. Um, so I, I'll, I'll give you one example. This is my article on CSS Tricks. Um, um, basically rehashing a bunch of different, uh, different trends going on in, um, in design systems, TypeScript, Apollo, and React. I just pulled together data points information, put it in some historical context. Again, nothing new, right? I haven't come up with anything new. But I was just like, all right, I see, I see like uh, Stripe, Twitter, Zapier, all, all adopting this, Airbnb as well. Um, uh, like try to explain what's going on and then, and, then, um, and then start and then like leave some areas for research. But basically, um, all I'm doing is like writing it up in a nicer blog post. That does take more effort and you're not typically like laying down everything that you know, but it does help other people because it, it's made for them to consume. Um, and this includes making talks, right? Like, like this one, I'm making my own advice more consumable for you, even though it's all in my head. Um, and making like blog posts and, and, and books and, 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 other, and other things. <coughs> Including the, the, even this, right? This is like, I'm connecting people uh, with like, uh, you know, what, what is in concurrent React, or I'm connecting people with what is in TypeScript. Um, so these are all valid examples. Um, you still don't have a grand overall arching theme to your work. People don't know you as uh, one particular person, but you're, and you're usually juggling multiple themes. And the public commitment is usually moderate, like a few weeks or months you'll be doing a certain thing. Um, for example, if I, if I commit to giving a conference talk, uh, and I've given quite a few, um, that's usually four to six months out, um, and I'll be, I'll be preparing for that talk in that, in, in that time. Um, so that's, you see how that's different from the Explorer uh, gear? Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the meaning I want to impress upon you. Um, a, lot of, a lot of instructors and teachers and workshop people are, are here as well. Um, they're not teaching anything that they made themselves, but they're just rehashing and making more consumable for people, and that is extraordinarily valuable. That, in fact, that is what you, you pay for when you go to a university. A lot of the stuff that you learn um, is not created by the te people teaching you, it's created by others, and you, uh, you, know, you write textbooks and stuff to, uh, to learn that. Um, and then the last gear is mining. So this is when you really struck something that no one else is doing, that is gold because other people are interested in it. And, um, and really, you're, 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 what you do here is you plant your flag. You say, this is the thing that I do. Um, I do nothing else. Um, the main problem to solve is that something important to you or to the world is too hard. Uh, the world too, too, uh, knows too little about something that's important, and therefore you dive deep into it. So, so you're, this is like, if you're in academia, you're doing your PhD in this. Um, and it, you just like, you're obsessed by it, you're, or you're abnormally good at it, whatever it is. Um, you start going deeper, way deeper than anyone else. Um, and therefore, um, you're doing basically very specialized R&D, or you're building community infrastructure. Um, why did Tobias Coppers create Webpack? Why did Sebastian McKenzie create Babel? Um, it's not because they like set out to like I will I want to make my name. Well, let's look around and like and like get famous for for this thing. No, they were just solving this thing that they were just abnormally obsessed by, and they were like, screw it, I'm just going to do it. Um, and that's that's essentially it. The community infrastructure, like they no longer, yeah, 
Nita Tobias Coppers or uh, a Sylvester McKenzie or even Jordan Walt, the creator of React, none of them do talks anymore because they don't, they don't need exposure, they don't need anything. Um, they're, they're just off in their own world, like creating, creating stuff. Um, and the world finds them, right? Like, you're in, in, the, in the connector gear, you're still trying to get distribution and reach like, hey, have you read my blog post yet? Yeah, that's stupid. Um, what <laughs> once, you, once you start mining and you're, you're like really like the world's foremost authority on something, um, then uh, people come to you, which is very nice. Um, and so now you have one overall uniting theme. Whenever someone thinks about, hey, for example, if I think about um, animations in SVG, there's only one person in the entire world I think about is Sarah Drasner. Um, and as a, as, a, as a company, let's say I have a problem, I want to hire a consultant, that's where you want to be as a consultant. You want to be recognized as the X person. I used to say this as like, you want to be the guy, but this is more sort of gender bias, so don't, don't take the gender thing. But like, um, there's, there's literally a ride-sharing guy. Let me just like, ride-share guy. Is he the best rideshare guy in the world? I don't know, but Google says he is. <laughs> the points guy, what does he do? Maximize your travel. Like, personal branding is about being the guy. Like, again, please, like, if, you're, if, you're not, if you don't identify as a guy, just like the person, like the, 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 the dominant person in that category because you have just invested so freaking heavily in the thing that no one else is even going to come close. Um, so people come to you. That's a very nice uh, aspect of that. Um, <coughs> okay, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit running out of time. Um, I have other pieces of advice as well uh, about knowing your tools, uh, cloning open source apps, as well as specializing in new things. Um, these are all things that I've, I've touched upon briefly in this talk. Uh, but I also wanted to leave some time open for Q&A. Um, I think I have uh, some questions coming in from the, the Shopee thing. Um, so whoever TZ Inc. is, I think I've um, spoken to you as well. Yeah, um, was, that, was that helpful? Do you, do you have a follow-up? Okay. Um, and honestly, like, uh, this, uh, this, is something I, this is something I care a lot about as well. People ask me to be their mentors, and I'm like, that's stupid. That's a job that I do not want. But if you have specific questions about something I can help you with, I will help you. And then if you, if you come back the next day with another question, I will help you again. Come back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and eventually I'm doing that job. But like, let's just not call, let's just not call it a, a mentorship thing. Uh, Tan Hao Hao, can you share a bit more of a daily routine, week, weekend routine? Um, that's, very, that's very personal. Uh, <laughs> uh, and <coughs> honestly, and again, I, um, I do not follow my own advice all the time, right? Like this is the best of me. Um, and, and I have uh, my weak points, my lazy points as well. Um, I, I, do, I do seek to be better uh, myself uh, at something. I'm, I'm currently in the connector gear. I really want to be a miner. Uh, one of the things I'm mining on is uh, a, a proposal for single found components in React and possibly uh, a new framework that, pot that might potentially kill Create React app. Um, so this is single file components in React. And, and I, I, have, I have a basic working prototype, but again, this is something that I don't quite believe in it uh, fully yet. Um, so there is no routine. I'm not a routines kind of guy. I'm more of a, like, what is interesting to me right now um, and what is cool. Uh, also, my, uh, I have a lot of speaking, um, so these, these are the talks that I do. Um, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them are, so like a lot of, a lot of the work will be driven by the, the conference schedule and, the, um, and the, the other day to day stuff that's going on in my company. For example, the past three months I've been a CLI developer because uh, of the new product that my company launched, Nellify Dev. Um, and obviously, I spent three months working on, on, a CL, on a CLI. What happens at the end of that three months? I do a talk about it. So, uh, so then I randomly got invited to do this talk about uh, adaptive intent-based CLI state machines. I still don't know what that means, but I, I did. Uh, yeah. Um, but basically, like, you know, just make the most out of, out of your day, right? Like, double dip um, and, and all that. Uh, curious about learning in public? Yeah, okay, so I, I, I probably answered that. Uh, just look at my, my uh, talk stuff and my writing stuff. Um, uh, okay, let's go to Wei's questions. What are you learning now? Um, so I, I'd say I'm mostly learning TypeScript stuff now. Um, yeah, but I, I want to I wanna do more. Um, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm, I'm like, 
I have I have a lot of pots cooking right now, and I'm sort of juggling a lot of different things. How do you pick your subjects to learn? Uh, yeah, this one is this one I care a lot about, which is um, I think the the market will tell you, like people's people's interests will tell you people what people other people are talking about. Um, and I also have some advice in there about um, you sh like whatever is hot right now, you pick the thing that's adjacent to it because that will be uh, that will be the next hot stuff. Um, and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of economic reasoning behind that. Um, what are some subjects or non or topics that non CS majors miss? Blah blah blah. Okay. Anyway, I want to leave some time for like any like maybe two audience questions. If anyone has audience questions. <coughs> I've answered absolutely everything. Um, no, and again, like this is this just for this just like my own personal journey. Um, I absolutely think that there are some advice that I can learn from from everyone. So, uh, yeah, have a chat with me afterwards. Yeah, I got a sticker. Yeah. <laughs>